Hi everyone, it's Chris here from thegameslist.com. For today's review, we have decided to look at a beautiful little game called Coma. We start the game in the subconscious of our main character, Pete, and control a character that I can only describe as a strange blob with legs. The first room is dark and dingy, with a piano in the corner and a message scribbled on the wall. We can move Pete left and right using the arrow keys, and also play the piano by walking over to it. We can advance to the next stage by passing to the right, and each time we leave the screen we are greeted to a new stunning background. The progression of each section is smooth and makes the game flow wonderfully. After a few stages we realise it's not only the artwork that is beautiful. The music that accompanies the scenes is blended into each other effortlessly and complements the scenes perfectly. As the game progresses we can interact with other characters that give us missions or tell us tips to help us advance. The most important of these is a bird that will help us reach objects that are too far and solve puzzles that we would not be able to do alone. I call them puzzles but this is a bit of a stretch. It is more about knowing where to go next. Figuring this out can sometimes be a pain and getting stuck can be an annoyance. Another annoyance for me is that when we interact with other characters, we receive pop-up messages that hold the conversations. To advance the conversations, we have to mouse-click buttons within the convo boxes. This makes the controls a little clumsy. In my opinion, it would have been better to have the option to use the arrow keys and enter to select a response. This would mean you would only need the keyboard to play. Overall, Coma is a strange, quirky, but absolutely beautiful game. The artistic direction of each scene looks like something you would get printed on a canvas and hang on your wall, and the music complements these wonderful scenes perfectly. However, after completing the game, I felt that something was missing. It didn't feel quite complete. The gameplay lacks a sense of danger, and there are no real challenges. At around 10-15 to 15 minutes to finish, it is also a little on the short side. It feels more like a demo for a terrific upcoming game. Let's hope we get a sequel that takes all the elements that Coma has managed to get perfect and adds everything that is missing. Coma is a great effort and creates a magical experience for the player by its unique atmosphere. However, the lack of complexity and depth means Coma misses out on 4 marks. I give it 4 out of 5. You can play this game by clicking the direct link in the info panel or by going to thegameslist.com. Please subscribe to our channel for the latest casual gaming reviews.